Well, for me, I was never really a massive, you know, Coke was not my thing at all. You know what I mean? I was a big drinker. I come from, you know, a drinking family and, um, you know, it, I was like, I could really like, even at like 20, I could drink all night, you know. And then all of a sudden I found cocaine. Then all of a sudden we'd be in one place, the cocaine would arrive. I'd have the cocaine and we'd go to the next place as though we'd just gone out for the night. We'd been out for like five or six hours and then all of a sudden we could start again, you know. So that was a terrible thing for me, finding cocaine. And then all of a sudden cocaine becomes more than the drinking and then, you know, it uh, you're up for days on it, you know, just sitting there talking bollocks. Yeah, that's the same. And I was, <clears throat> I never took coke unless I was drinking. So, yeah, yeah. And cool. uh, like, obviously to get that... I only took it because it gave me that extra couple of days, Jimmy. I yeah. didn't want to sober up. No. So it, it means I could just drink more. Yeah. We're still trying to keep sane, even yeah. though it was driving me fucking insane. Yeah. No, yes, like, right. it's, it's crazy. Because like, you, you're very open about being on crack as well. When Was that 84, Jimmy? I tell you what, I, I, I don't, I was on it for about two uh, months. Yeah, three months. I had 30 grand in a bank, right? In a, like, one of them, um, like, hidden accounts I had. And uh, I started smoking it. And uh, now and again, I'd put it in a, a joint, you know, on top of a bit of weed, which would like completely just send you all over the place and an absolute waste of time. And then I started smoking it and then it becomes sort of a secret thing. And then before you know who you are, you're doing it sort of, you know, two or three times a week, you know, and then you, you do like 1,500 quid, two grand, you know, and you just, and the, the, the most... Fabulous people in the world who I dearly love still to this day. You know, see that like a little bit of the crack would drop on the floor and you see them put their foot on it and they're moving it away. So, and, and, where they, and they're going, oh, well, I don't know where there is. And you know he's fucking lying. Do you know what I mean? That's how bad that drug was. And I, I called it sucking the devil's dick. And I'd done it for three months. And luckily for me... um, I'd done the 30 grand and I think I went on holiday just after and I was lucky enough I sort of got myself together and I'd never do that again. Yeah. Do you wish you would have kicked the coke as well at that time, especially coming off that and it would have maybe gave you more focus into your ability of being one of the greatest of all time? Yeah, I would have done. Yeah, I would have, you know, the cocaine sort of, at that time as well, though, it was absolutely everywhere, you know. And the, the people who have this coke now, it's just garbage. You know what I mean? It's just so, it's so, you know, it's even a waste of time. But in them days, it was um, coming from the street as well. I knew where to get the good stuff and all that, and I knew how to meet the drug dealers, and, you know, I, I sort of knew my way around it. But uh, for me, it was a bit like yourself. It gave me that extra day or two days to carry on drinking. I'd never take cocaine without drink. Yeah, it's a no. fucked up drug as well. Yeah. Was that... See you through the 80s and that as well, Jimmy. Like, what was the height of your, your most damage? Um, did you ever well, look yourself in the mirror and go, fuck me, I oh, need no. to change? Oh, or no. did you think you were okay? No, I was fucked. I was fucked a few times. I was like, you know, uh, it, it, thinking about it now sort of gives me a bit of anxiety. But um, I sort of, I hid it well as well from people. You know, there's a lot of people who had no idea I was on it. Well, I thought they had no idea I was on it. But... Um, no, there was a few dark times where, like, you know, you'd wake up after a couple of days and you didn't want, you know, you sort of wanted just to go back to bed or just hide because you, you was going, there was so much grief that you had to face that you'd caused. So, um, no, there was a lot of dark times. 